I never heard people say that until I came to India. <laughs> I met some, yeah. I was like, mm. what, what about energy of, of people? We are drawn to certain people more than to the other. <coughs> are you drawn to those people when you are asleep? Only the form that you are drawn to. In sleep, the form vanishes, the thought vanishes, the idea vanishes, so even the attraction vanishes. Had it been real, it would have been present even in sleep. If a snake bites you when you are asleep, will it be any less poisonous than when it is biting you in your waking state? So, what is real is applicable equally in both the states, right? But what happens to this energy when you go to sleep? It disappears, which means it is just unreal. Hmm? It's only there if you think about it. It's only there if your senses are experiencing it, otherwise it's not there. sitting where you are. Start me from there. Come on. Without touching me. I can. You can't. Right? When without touching me, you can't even offer a basic massage. Then how can somebody cure or heal someone from hundreds of kilometers away? You are an experienced therapist. Just from an inch away at least. Hmm? Missiles can be fired. Medicines can't be. <laughs> Unless the medicine is riding a missile. How come other people feel it when I don't even touch them? How, how come is it possible? When you we, touch them, no? no? No, no, I don't even touch them. It's, they have Tell me what is my temperature right now? I cannot. Then? 37 and mm. half, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> what is sensory is sensory. What is an object of touch is an object of touch. You cannot bypass 
the senses. You cannot violate the laws of mind. Hmm? Not enough. What would you say about energy in general? Like, even in a, it's a physical thing. In, in the medicine, it's recognized that the disease starts in an energetic level and then emotional, and the physical is the last manifestation of, of the disease. <coughs> what can you say about energy? Are we all energy? Energy is a physical quantity. Energy is a, is a physical thing. Energy is movement. Energy is food. You take in food, you burn food, you get it, it is expended, you again get more food, you expend it. There is nothing miraculous about energy. Hmm? This is energy. Yeah. Hmm? I drop it, it will gain a certain velocity, then it will crash against the earth. There will be sound, that sound is energy. Energy, there is nothing spiritual about energy. There is nothing mysterious about energy. I can very well calculate how much energy will be liberated when it strikes the earth and gets broken. So, so how come people have healings from they, they, there are cases of people that have how many miraculous cases how many cases are healings. there of people not having miraculous healing most of them so if one out of thousand cases there is healing do you even want to think of that consider that one out of thousand anything can happen one out of thousand cases you can sit here and an apple can drop on your head will you take that as a law, a rule or just as an exception, a random aberration. In a particular hospital in US, alright, take it, let's take this example. In a particular hospital in US, let's say a thousand people are sick at this time. And sitting here in India, I send healing to those thousand people. One out of those thousand gets healed in the bombing. 999 find no benefit, in fact 50 die. Then I can either tout that one case of healing as a grand demonstration of the power of distant healing or if I am logical, sane and unbiased, then I look at all the 1000 cases and say well, it failed in 999 cases. In one case, just by chance, randomly, coincidentally, something happened. Hmm? If you try it with a thousand people, won't it succeed in one case? It would. But nobody wants to talk about the 999 cases. 
because that would shut down the shops. All right, I'm 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 sending abusers to all these people who are sitting there in the courtyard. Hmm? I'm ordering them to walk away within five minutes. Now will someone go and see whether somebody walks away within five minutes? And whosoever walks away is walking away because I ordered him to walk away. Walk away. I'm sending you my energy of order. Distant commanding. Distance management. Oh. Then we'll claim at least one walked away. <laughs> Look at the power. I was I was do you see the absolute miracle? I was ordering them. But such is the spillover of the energy that a little bit got, you know. Dropped here and there, and even this one walked away. This is. It's a little difficult for me to hear because I've been in that world of healing and energy for three years, and I have experienced it myself. And I have been in the world of science and technology for very long. This that you call as spirituality, to me it comes later. First of all, I have been a student of science and an ardent student of science. So, it is impossible for me to take something that violates science. I have great respect for energy, have studied it, experimented with it, know what it is. It is not something mystical. Truth is mystical. Love is mystical. Energy is not mystical. Energy is solid, tangible. You can hold it in your hands. And you can exactly say this much of energy I am holding in my hands. Love you cannot hold in your hands. Truth you cannot hold in your hands. So energy is just material. Hmm? In fact, mostly the ones who have nothing to do with truth are the ones who are most interested in energy. This is another trend I am observing. Have you seen the kind of interest people show in chakras and the awakening of energy and such things? Why aren't you satisfied with a simple life? Why do you want energy to awaken? What will you do with it? Will you explode a bomb or something? That's what energy can do. It can explode a bomb. So energy is rising from here, 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 then boom. Or will you power at least one small village with all your energy? Yeah. You can go once in a week and store all your excess energy in some large capacitor system. So much energy. Poor villagers will get some electricity. If energy is there, it can be demonstrated. If energy is there, it can be used to move a vehicle. All these people who talk of energy have they ever demonstrated energy? Energy is totally demonstrable. Energy is what runs this laptop. 
I'll discharge this laptop totally. Now ask your energy gurus to come and give some energy to this laptop so that it can run. This laptop runs on energy. Ask them to send some distant energy so that it can start running. And is it not an obvious question? Or at least ask them to light a small bulb, 15 watts. 15 watts is very little energy, 15 joules per second. At least this much of energy they can give through their mumbo jumbo. All this talk of energy won't even move a pin on the floor. Even the pin on the floor follows the laws of physics. It won't violate them. I feel that this pursuit of Kundalini is just something that supports the, the desire to keep on something exotic. Does that, does that, does that take you further away from the tree? Of course it does. <laughs> yeah, but Acharya, what about different qualities in subtler and subtle energy? Like the different bio and fields that can be the different materials? Sure, we can charge this with, uh, I don't know, so I don't do science, but there's some energy that won't run this laptop, there's some energy that will. What about... Well, energy is not of different kind, energy is just one. All energy is just one. Basic physics. All energy is just one and is measured in a single unit. Single unit. Or if there are different units, then they are interconvertible. And there is no way someone's energy field can charge this laptop. You may be the greatest guru with the greatest energy aura. It still won't charge this laptop. <laughs> it doesn't exist. The energy. Of course. It's just a nice thing to talk of because energy means power and the ego likes power. The more you talk of energy, the more energized the ego feels. So it is to feed the ego that we keep talking of energy. Who else wants energy? Does the truth want energy? Who is it that is crazy for energy and power and who is it? It's the ego. What does the man of truth have to do with energy? What does a lover have to do with energy? What does relaxation have to do with energy? But ego has a lot to do with energy. Hmm? Also remember that as limited physical beings, all our energy comes only from food. So, even that way you cannot have a mysterious amount of energy with you. You will have only as much energy as you eat. Even the greatest guru needs food once or twice a day. Jesus then, hmm? for 40 days. Hmm? 
Jesus He was losing weight continuously. Then you are living out of your stored fat. You become emaciated, thin. There are many people who fast for many days. In India, hunger strike is a tradition. Even last year you had some great people sitting on hunger strike and all that happens is that they lose one or two kilograms daily. If you don't eat, then you lose weight at the rate of one or two kilograms daily. In fact, you are still eating. You are eating your own flesh. You are eating those one or two kilograms. That's where the energy comes from. It doesn't come from the universe or something. It comes from your own flesh. It doesn't come from prana or rana or whatever.